Today on the bench we have my Sony Trinitron color monitor which is apparently missing a color so fortunately we have Mr. Tube Time who uh, provided the replacement monitor in the first place that we shot the, right. the color TV video if you followed our adventures on reviving the Apollo Lunar TV microwave link, the color Sony monitor that you have seen is not this one. After we found mine did not work, TubeTime rescued us by bringing his, and that's the one we ended up using for filming the video. Uh, we want to repair this one too. It's nicely made so you can flip the board out. Ooh. Ah. Made for servicing. Uh, you have already made some uh, initial discovery on that one and uh, we believe actually that the tube works missing the green but you were able to make some reappear by a readjustment so probably the tube is good but the amplifier might not be good. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. So we adjusted the gain controls to compensate, but I have the gain turned all the way up and it's, it's still not quite where it should be. Let's uh, turn it on. Ain't gotta oh, wait. Uh, there, yeah, it's very red. Yeah. Uh, did it lose another color? Let's try going to color bars. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's no green. Yeah. No green at all. This isn't really the right tool for this. Yeah, yeah, it reappears. It's so the tube, I hope the tube is not shot because then it would be in deep doo doo, but it looks like it's there, but just not enough of it. Yeah, this is with a gain all the way up. It's mm. not right. Initial thought is RGB amplifier, the the G is not good, and it's over here. It will be hard G B or B G R. We don't know one of those transistors. But we we have the schematics and everything. Unfortunately, this is from when Sony, like HP, like Tektronix, was giving the whole schematics very well done uh, instructions for repair. But it's complicated. So this is part of the blanking. And this is the RGB amplifier right here, so blew it up. We have three times the same circuit, so we can compare. And it's complicated because it has blanking in it, so the, the blanking is doing the difficult thing. 149 and 152, 152, 149. So I think that's the middle pin here. Okay, you got something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering where all the spikes are coming from, but let me switch to a, okay, here's a 100% field. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see, those are individual lines. Yeah, so it looks like it's up around 4 volts, and then, so this is the same. Yeah. And then let me check channel three. Okay, so ah, the input signal is there. So it doesn't make it through the amplifier or the tube is lazy. This is the current in each of these amplifiers that I looked at in each of these Are the amplifier same. stages. So it's the same. This is annoying because if the current is correct, then the tube is receiving the correct well, thing. Well, not, not quite. I haven't got to that voltage yet. So this is interesting. If I go in with the probe. Yeah, that changed it. Yeah. So did that, but not as much. That's a clue. And that changes a lot. So that was the blue and the red channels that changed it a lot, and the green channel didn't change it very much. Mm -hmm. And I'm probing on the emitter, which is this point right here. So cursory check of that transistor, transistor is like, look like it's good, and so I'm thinking maybe one of these two, or D346, but D346 looked good from 
the traces on the scope but it could be. So then we could find nothing wrong with the transistor diode, everything, and then we are going back to the end of it because, uh, and it looks like we have plenty of green at the output. So which which uh, which is uh, the one you're moving? Yeah. So this is this is the green channel. We have tons of it compared to. Can can you move the blue, for example? So this is blue. So we actually have less blue going out yes, through this final stage amplifier. And the green, so we have plenty of green signal. So maybe it's good up to here, and then there is not much. It goes from here back to the tube, right? And look also when you put your probe on it, it will affect the color of the screen when you are on the blue and the red, but not when you're on the green. Bad resistor back there? Maybe. Huh. Bad socket, bad yeah. wire. Bad soldering joint. Okay, that's the board for the neck. We're getting dangerously close to the tube, so if it's not the resistor, where's the green? This one? Mm -hmm. Goes through one resistor and one solder joint. So if it's not that, then it's the tube and then we're hosed. All right, so it's off. Um, can you take it off? Probably. Yeah. I hope there is a bad solder joint or a bad resistor, because if not... Did you say R702? R, yes. Looks like it's directly beneath the connector. I'm going to try to measure it. Okay. Well, you should be able to measure continuity, right? Yeah. From Let's go one from end. down here out to the pin on the socket. And 2K, which mm -hmm. is what it should be. Yep. 2K, 2.2K. So like then, oh man, then we are at the last bit. And if that bit works, then it's the tube, and then we're hosed. No, 2K now. Yeah. Now we have 2K, so it makes it. Mm. Mm. Then it's our tube. Do the solder joints uh, look good? They look OK. Ah, dang, then it's the tube. And... There's one other thing that we haven't checked yet. Which the is? filament. Uh, it's true. They're all wired in parallel inside the tube. Yes, so there's nothing much we can do about that uh -huh. one either. I suppose we could try wiggling this neck board. Well, it's a free Sony monitor, so if we can get it yeah. to work. Well, no, still very red. Yeah, it's not flickering at all. And you can check that it's getting a signal, like we can check right at the board, right? Uh, uh, in other words, after the resistor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, signal's there. That's after the resistor. Yeah, I think we have a weak gun. Ah! Dang. Well, that's too bad. Is there an experiment we could make with your cross connecting the two tubes? You you you, you could get me less blue and less red. I don't think I have any control over red. Oh really? Yeah. I red, think that's red, red is the reference. One of them is the reference. Yeah. Mm. So I have blue gain, green gain. And I don't think I have any red. It doesn't look like it. Okay, we're host. We could artificially lower. Yeah, we have a little bit of green. We do have green, we just don't have much. That's we have too I, much red. I cranked the gain way up on green, that's why normally it's going to come out like this. Right, we we'll crank it up. Now, is there, if we had a way to lower the blue and the red. I can lower the blue, I just can't lower the red. Well, this is not good news. Everything points to the CRT tube being bad. 
the electron emission of the green cathode is likely too low, probably from a contaminated or just too old of a cathode. Which is not too surprising, as this free monitor was rescued from a dumpster pile. We still have a bit of green though, so the green filament is still working, which further points to a low emission cathode, which electron emitting barium oxide coating has been poisoned or just evaporated due to usage. So we are thinking to do a cathode rejuvenation using this BNK model 440 tester, which manual promises to fix everything under the sun with your CRT. But tube rejuvenation is retro snake oil. It might damage your tube even more. And even if it works somewhat, effects are usually temporary and the tube will revert back to its previous state in a matter of hours. But hey, this is a free dead monitor and I have never tried a rejuvenation. So for the good of science and our own electro education, let's give it a go and see what happens. What have yes. I got here? Uh, this is our BNK CRT tester. It's really designed mainly for black and white tubes, but it does support uh, apparently one type of uh, color tube. Really? And we don't have an adapter to get to the CRT in our little uh, PVM monitor here, so I am manually wiring it up. Yeah, and it's only what? Kilovolts? No, you don't need to do the kilovolts. Yeah, kilovolts for rejuvenation, it just runs the electron gun, so right. you don't need final acceleration. Oh, you don't even need no. to turn the thing on. We won't review how CRTs and electron guns work here, but if you feel like learning about it and what all the electrodes do, we explain all of it in our previous CRT video, complete with an extended elevator music section. I will link it in the doodly doo. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. So I got four volts in here, which is closer to the correct filament voltage of 4.5 uh -huh. volts. Um, I'm probably gonna have it set to emission at first on the red gun, and then I'll cycle through and see what there is to be seen. So what did you co 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 connect? Uh, I connected the grids and anodes and cathodes and filament. So the first anode, the the grid yeah, and the filament. So so you just exercise the electron guns through the first anode. Correct. All so right. it's just G one and G two. Okay. And then you're going to see if you get any current. Right? Yeah. Uh, Is the filament lighting up at all? Well, it's buried oh, in there. there. It's hard to see. Oh, oh, there you go. Okay. So this is for emission and... And it's one... Do you have three guns in there? Yep. And so you're on the green? I'm on red. On the red. So that's one that's working fine. Can you change to the green one? And then you see that if the emission is different? Yeah, it's different, it's lower. And then blue is higher again. Oh, okay. So, oh, but so that's great. We can we can actually tell that there's something wrong with the green, right? Yeah, let me crank up the filament voltage because we're running it a little bit low. Okay. So here's five volts. Okay, which is close to four seven, so it's, it's barely good. So emission is reading the uh, current. And I cannot see the filaments in there. It's just yeah, it's it's probably buried. But but we, but we have the it's filamenting. So here's green, which is way way down. Okay, which is what we had seen. And then blue is a little bit down, but not too bad. Okay. So I set it to dynamic low. We have the green selected. So this is a very blunt tool. If you look at the schematics, all it does is apply a rectified one kilovolt or so to the first anode. This will form an arc with a cathode, hopefully vaporizing the contamination and exposing some fresh barium oxide on the cathode. You can do that at three filament voltages. Low is the normal filament voltage and medium and high apply progressively higher over voltage to the filament, making it hotter. So, th so this one might arc it. Yeah, so I just basically push it and then release it. Okay. Well, yeah, I saw it arc. Oh, you saw it flash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it flash. Okay. Uh, you, okay, let's see if it did something and then if you do it in the medium. Oh, look at that. Emission's much higher now. Oh! That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Wow. Look at that. See, it's, it's the, the same as range. the other ones. Try, let's see if we... Yeah. 
Green or red yeah. is slightly better. Uh, blue is like a little low, but okay. uh, green looks now it's much better. Yeah, we'll see how long it lasts. So, but unfortunately, it's falling. It's going. It's going back to where it used to be. You want to give it another, another wish, and then I try to capture it yeah, on the neck of the tube. Except, uh, okay. Well, I don't have the best angle, but that's the best we can do so far. Go on medium. Supposed to wait 15 seconds before. I oh yeah, yeah. I see the. Uh, I see the, 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 the now uh, that I turn the light down. I see the filament. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it arcing big time. Okay, so that's okay. plugged back in. Uh, I need the pattern generator and the power cord. Okay, that should be on the other table. All right, let's have a look at that screen. All right, go for it. See if we got some white. I just realized that the trim no. pod's probably cranked up. Ah, we have, yeah, it's a little bit better. Yes, we have white. We yeah. do have white. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty decent. It's, it's much better than before. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh yeah, the white, the black and white is black and white now. It used to be completely purple. Oh, this is great. The little tube reju reju rejuvenation worked. Yeah. Pull this off of the... This is such a huge camera. It's quite heavy too. Okay, we should have the 70s music. I know, right? Oh yeah, so we gotta do get have, it into focus. But we go have some pictures. Yeah, this is this is this is uh, from the completely red monitor that we had before. This is totally acceptable. Works for me. Hello. It's still slightly red. It's still very dim. It lacks contrast. So it's a, it's a tube at the end of its life, basically. But uh, no, thanks, 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 tube time. I think you, you repaired it. Very, very good. Excellent. Where, 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 where's my thumb? There you go. The other thumb. There. It's a good camera. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good monitor.